Hello everybody, my name is OneClick and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. It is a brand new little game. It's actually not even really out yet. It's still in pre-alpha, I guess you would say. It is by Clay, I'd like to say. The makers from Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together. It, it's a great little game. I've honestly been playing probably a few hours of it already. I'm probably almost close to like maybe 10 by now. But I'm having a great time playing this game. So I wanted to share it with you guys, show you guys what I've learned, what I think is the best way to start off with a great, you know, you know, to start off your group and such a guy. So I think I have at least a decent idea of what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys will enjoy and, uh, you know, come along with me. So right now, where we're at is we get our basically our first three people. They're duplicates. So I'm guessing that, you know, there's multiples of, there's multiples of what the people look like, but they're named different things, I'm guessing. That's what it looks like, at least so far, that I've seen in the game. So, each one of them has different levels, different jobs, different skills, attributes, or stats, like what you want, or whatever you want to call them. You know, they all come with traits, good and bad, as well as, you know, additional things, like if they like, like their decor expectations, some of them want, like, really fancy things. Like this person here, Miss Mildred, decor of 20, Jesus, ugh. Ugh, man, just no. And then they also have, like, stress responses. Like, in this game, they, they can get very stressed out. And if they get too stressed out, they do things like destroy things or vomit, as you can see there. All three of these ones are vomiters. So we're going to change them up and see if we can find ourselves a decent little group. A runner? Okay, that's a good one there. We want to have a runner, especially with the diver's lungs, so he doesn't actually uh, consume as, lot, as much uh, air as the rest of them do. He doesn't like to cook, but that's fine. We're not going to get him to cook at all. But he has a good athletic, so he's going to run around a lot. And he's creative, so if he needs to decorate anything, he can do it really well. Next guy. Hmm, chef. No, don't really need that one right now. I would much rather prefer to have myself a miner. There we go. Miner early bird. Okay, yeah, so he, uh, the first part of the day, he gets plus two to all skills, which is not bad. And he, oh, narcoleptic, so, uh, narcoleptic, basically, they'll fall asleep whenever, randomly. It's kind of, it's not a great trait, oh, but it's not, like, the the worst, it's not one of the worst ones out there. Still can do any job, such a guy, so, you know, I'm gonna take that. Eugene, you seem like a good person. Now, for the last one, we definitely either want, like, another runner, maybe a cook, uh, another miner could be okay. Mm. No, I don't want that one. Let's see. Minor. Ooh. Mouth breather, though. Ooh, no, we don't want that one because that one consumes more air. We don't really want that one. So I think we're going to go. Uh, chef for small bladder. No, thank you. Uh, come on, give me something decent. Narcolept. Another narcoleptic miner. Who's really good in water, though, apparently. Uh, no thanks. Man, this is... Ugh, yokel. Athletics, medicine. You know what, that's... It's not so bad. I still would rather have somebody better at digging, or at least even building. Uh, come on. There we go, that one works. Oh, oh god, no, not bottomless stomach. Never mind. Sure, why not? We'll do that one. Hugh. Hugh is a scaredy cat who can learn and research things pretty quickly. I will deal with that. The optimistic base. I will take that. That's a good colony name. Alright, so we're in. Do you know how to play? Ah, oh, alert! Your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got there. Might be best to start digging. I totally agree, so we're going to pause that, hit the space button there, and we're going to now open up our dig tool. This here is Oxalite. It gives us oxygen. Very lovely stuff here. But I like to at least upgrade, open my spacing out a little bit, and let's see what we have to work with. Alright, so we are going to keep on building. Looks like we have a small little spot down here, below our little portal thing. Well, whatever you- printing pod. Guess that's what we call it. But this is where we're going to do a lot of our main building. It's really good too. We have two things of water right beside us as well, so we're gonna have a lot of water to drink, as well as use for our creations, such as food and such like that as well. So, 
Let's get going. Oh my god, yeah! Why? Okay. Wanna start building downwards? And then from here... I do want some tiles like that, and like so. Now I think we're gonna keep our kitchen -y area up here, where the water is. We're gonna start moving some stuff down, like oh, maybe we'll do our bathroom here. As well as we'll do some like, building, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know exactly what we'll do. There's, the opportunities though, are a lot. So we want to at least clear that out as well. And maybe we'll go for broke and go that far. Just at least open up the space so we can get ourselves some more room. Now I don't want to kill that just yet because it gives us more oxygen. But we do want to clear out this space here. Because everything underneath it is going to be... Oh god, there's more of it over there too. Shoot. Okay, we're going to have to wait until it's all... Uh, it all wears through and it provides enough oxygen for us, everybody. But I don't know exactly where I'm going to put my beds or the toilets yet. I'm thinking I'm going to put the toilets down below. Might be the best idea for now, so far. So I'm going to put these there. These are storage uh, compartments, storage compactors. They pretty much store anything you want. You can actually assign what they take. So some can be like plant ones, raw materials, metals. You name it. I'm just going to do all. So anything that goes in there, anything I find, will go in each one of these. So it should be all just right there and handy to grab. So as we want to build some more tiles. The tiles are great. They act as wall or floor or floor tiles. Pretty easy. We might do like a double tile type thing here. I don't know yet exactly. And when we dig up over here on the left side, we're going to have to watch out so we don't get too far and get, you know, carried away and get actually stuck in the water. Ooh, we got a third body of water there. So we got like three bodies of water. Not much poison. Oh, there's some contaminated water over there. No, there's no hydrogen or chlorine that I see around here either. And we'll, we'll get to that later when we actually explore and dig deeper a little more. There's more unknown things about... Let's speed this up a little. So, I really do, like I said, I really do enjoy this game, and I really like to don't starve and don't start to, don't starve together as well. Uh, <laughs> this game reminds me a lot of it because they still have like the funny noise, like the horn noises, and like the classical type sound effects. Like when they sleep, you'll be able to tell right away they sleep, and everything just sounds kind of like don't starve. It's very nice. I really enjoy this game. Like, honestly, it's one of the better survival-esque type space games I've played. I've, I've really enjoyed this survival space one rather than most other ones I have seen. Which, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing to say, but... Well, I'm saying it now. I enjoy this game, and... Sorry, other space games, you need to step up your game to be a great space survival. This one... It has you on your toes. Like, really, you start to feel for these people because you, you're in charge of them. They're, they pretty much are unable to take care of themselves. You literally have to baby these people. Otherwise, they are going to be doomed. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's... Yeah, then I can put one there as well. They're literally, though, going to be doomed if you do not help them out. And that's the depressing part about this whole thing. So they got the cots. We're going to build ourselves plumbing in outhouse down here, away from the beds. Because the outhouses, you know, are stinky. You know, you don't want to have that kind of where you sleep. Nobody likes to sleep near, have their head near an outhouse. I know I wouldn't. I've had to sleep in a schoolroom once before on a trip. It was very unpleasant. And, yeah, let's just say I heard people complain about the garbage can that was there all night long. Yeah, not the most pleasant of things. So, yeah, we want to keep our outhouse and any other, like, contaminable air, like, air contaminant type objects away from us. And plus, you know, it's just nice to have our own, oops, designated area called the bathroom. Basic controls, WASDA, yeah, H for home, tab to do that. I, I gotcha, I understand the stuff. I understand the stuff. 
Sorry if this guy, if this is like a little bit quick. If you guys want an actual proper tutorial, let me know. I could do something a little bit slower and give you guys the actual controls. At least all that I know of so far. But yeah, I'm just trying to give you guys a general layout of what I would do as I'm playing along in this game. You know, I want to have my set, my base set up where, like I said, most of the time it's stress-free. People feel like they're okay. So right now we need to wor uh, focus and worry about making ourselves a food source. So what I want to do is maybe start expanding this way. And we'll do that. As well as build that. And it should be... Oh, <laughs> Eugene just passed out. Darn that narcoleptic guy, man. But you know, we love him anyways. He's a good cheese, you know, he's a great guy. He works hard. And you know, right now, in the beginning of the stages, uh, they all have to do every pretty pretty much every job that's available. Building, digging, gathering, depositing things. Later on, we can actually start assigning them their own separate jobs. Like I you see Hugh. Hugh here doesn't like to fight, so he's not gonna do that. And Blanc. Blanc here does not cook. He cannot do it. He's just no good at it, so. There are certain traits that they can and cannot do, and we will get to that and fix that. And eventually we will, once we have our base more established, we will prioritize better to where they need to be and how exactly they're going to perform and such like that for a method. So, it's nighttime, everybody's sleeping. No need to really just sit here and watch that. We're going to start skipping through. Oh, I just noticed that. We want to, let's clear out that level just for now. Just for now, and then we're gonna see if we can, because if the sand, I'm pretty sure the sand will fall as soon as I take this block out. So we're gonna do this slowly. Actually, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna start this off slowly. Oh, stop there. Okay, actually, you guys can start taking that. That's fine. Build up a ladder for now. Go up a little higher, please. And we will start digging this out. We'll slow this things down a little bit more here. Oh, break time. Break time, everybody needs to eat, everybody needs to go to the washroom. I understand. You know what, I get that. But we're gonna skip the break time right now. You know, I don't want to get back to the business. So you guys, you guys deal with your thing, you eat your field rations, you go to the bathroom. You can start helping me dig. I like digging. I like people who like to decide that, you know, helping is better. But I understand you all needing to have your bodily functions taken care of as well. So. I think, okay, perfect. Doing good, doing good. Okay, now I want to do this. Can I hit that from here? If I can, I would be amazed. I don't think I can. No, I can't. So if I do that... Oh, oh, oh. Then maybe, maybe, just maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, okay, we got minor water spillage. That's okay, we'll just mop that up. Mop that up. Mop that all up. Yep, mop it away. Thank you guys. Okay, good. Okay, now we got that all cleared. Uh, let's try to do it a couple more times. So. Uh, let's dig up to there, please. Oh, come on. Mopping isn't that bad. It really is not that bad. I'm hoping if I keep at least this kind of like that, maybe... Well, we can do two at once now. Cool. Good. Alright. Okay, cool. We're doing at least not so bad so far. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe from there we can do that one. If we can do that one from there, then we'll have this set up all perfectly fine. Uh, we can get rid of that. Oh. <laughs> he fell down. I did. I always love the faces that they do when they fall down. I keep forgetting how they do that. It's comical. I'm sorry to say, guys. It's just funny to me. I'm sorry, Blanc. I'm laughing at your pain. I get it. And it's not very nice. I, I'm sorry, though. It, you just The face you make, it's, it's humorous. Most humorous, I have to say. Hmm. Why did the tile not want to go there? Please put tiles everywhere I tell you to, please. Like, you know, it's not that hard. Simple command. Simple, you know, planning, blueprinting. We need to get this stuff sorted. If you don't want it sorted, you can, you know... I guess try to focus somewhere else. 
But I don't know why you'd want to focus your efforts on something else somewhere else, because this seems to be a great idea. Great spot, you know? Let's start setting that up as well. Get ourselves a nice little area where <clears throat> where I can put up a door, where we can gather our, our water and such like that. So now it should be okay. Alright, awesome. Get the copper ore as well, since we're down here, and gather up some algae. Any algae we can would be nice. That too. Uh, dirt. Dirt's always nice. Sand. We can always use some sand for later. Grab up that. Grab up that. Grab up all that. Grab everything, please. Yes. Grab it all. There's so much sand in my base now, it's not even funny. <laughs> And eventually we're going to have to not only build a food source, an oxygen thing, but we're going to have to build a place so we can gather ourselves some energy. Do like that. Yeah, that's good. Nice little start to the base. Nice. Nice. Everything looks very nice. Now this one, this one I can actually bring down. I don't know. We'll figure that out tomorrow. In the next day cycle, whatever thingamabob you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a cycle. Can you hear it? It's like it's the same little sad trumpet type soundy that, that Don't Starve had. I love it. I love this game. Clay, or I really hope that's how you pronounce your name, I'm like your production company name. You guys make awesome games. Please continue making them. I cannot wait to see how this one ends up, because this is just the beginning. Remember guys, this is the development build, it's not even finished yet, it's nowhere close to finish as far as I know. So you guys, thank you so much, this is great, I did not get the key for free, so don't don't anybody think that. I did buy it, I purchased it, thank you guys for you know putting it out there where you can purchase it. This is just such an awesome game, I cannot wait to see what it just solely and wholly becomes like really this game is absolutely phenomenal phenomenal give me all of the goodies bro okay we need to start building ourselves some power so what we're gonna do is get our manual generator up and running get ourselves a base tile as well going uh we are going to be clearing this area, like, not like that, not like that, not like that. Don't, don't start building, please don't build that there. But I do know we are going to do that eventually. Now, we're going to need some more storage compartments too, it seems like that. Storage compactors, not compartments. I don't know why I keep calling them compartments. Anyways, we want to do that, we want to do that eventually as well too. And we want to get up there and get all that lovely algae, the mealwood. Oh, all that good stuff. But eventually, but first and foremost, we need to gather ourselves enough power and resources to make ourselves at least somewhat sustainable. So, when you guys get to your building for the power, you can you take your wires. It's technically a background object type thing. It's not a front ground object. But you guys can actually put it inside the tiles that we have here. So, to hide the wires, because eventually your little people will be like, Ew, the wires are gross. You can hide them. Oops. And it's pretty cool. I like how the wires are both set up too, because you can like do this, go around, and you're like, oh crap, I messed up. Uh, unless you do that, sorry. But if, if you do, you know, most times, you can usually set it up properly, where you can actually just rewind backwards with your mouse and go, oh, and fix it that way. Which, I, I like that. It's, it's a neat little development on how they set it up to be built. But here we have ourselves in manual generator. Now that we're getting ourselves a bit of an established base, we want to start working on who's going to be doing what. So we don't want these guys mining, uh, doing that. So with that as well, we don't want him to be mining. Don't want him building. Don't want him harvesting. And nothing like that. None of that stuff. No composting. No research. Combat, he can do that if he wants. But he's mostly going to be doing an art, I guess. But mostly what he's going to be doing is generating power and running things like these to what where they need to go either storage or to the proper like places for like to be used to be built with uh, and trained into something else like food or um, or tools something like that now eugene here he's our miner 
We don't want him to really be running around and delivering stuff like that, but he can be harvesting and sweet and digging as well. Uh, delivery, we got rid of that. Construction, okay, these guys can both do the construction. I don't mind that. Harvest is okay. Research, I don't really want to do my research right now. Composting, not really. And don't want to touch cook. We don't really have a cook. That's one of the first guys we want to get. And we are going to get, speaking of, we are getting our new duplicate in 100 seconds. So we are probably also going to want to establish a new cot. Now, you do have the option to reject the duplicates if none of them seek your fancy. Like, say we don't have a cook, or we do have a cook, but he, for some reason, doesn't like to cook. They, they It's possible, trust me. They, they make it so you have a cook who has a really high cooking skill, but he can't do the cook job. It's really weird and frustrating. So, if you do, get, if you do happen to get a bunch of candidates that pretty much are useless to you, you can skip that, but then you have to wait the thousand some odd seconds to get the next one again. So, when you do skip, you have to be wary of what you're skipping, because you have to remember, you don't always get, you're not always going to be, you know, between that next time, something bad could happen, and you might need that fourth person or next person, you never know. I've had a few times where I've encountered it where it's like, you know, I really could have used the extra guy, even just on the safe side. Uh, food, we want a micro musher. We'll put that there. Get ourselves some power going. And now we have a way to get some food, which is pretty darn decent as well. Hopefully we'll get a cook, or maybe even a scientist. Or maybe even a cooking scientist. Who knows? We do have a guy who does at least decent for learning. So once we get enough to make our stations, we need some more raw metal. Uh, metal. I'll find that later. But once we get enough uh, uh, guy to make ourselves, you know... Some do do some research. We'll actually get oh, there's the metal. Okay, we want to go down there. Somehow, we'll get there. Uh, we'll just clear that actually, and we'll start heading downwards. Oh, seven seconds till the next guy till the next batch comes in. We get to choose one of three, which is really neat. So we'll go down oh, too far, too far, oh, and it's ready. Okay, hold on, hold on, please hold on. Okay, let's check. Choose a duplicant. All right, we have a runner, an architect, and a miner. Hmm. None of them have cooking. That guy has a decent amount of learning. Uh, runs pretty decent. Strength pretty decent. Doesn't do cook though. Okay. And a miner with two digging. Hmm. Well, uncultured. Refuses to do the art job. Okay. Wow. He uh. Doesn't really care what the place looks like. Now that she, you know, I, I don't really want any of them to be honest with you. I really don't. So I'm sorry, guys. Bye bye. I'm rejecting your candidacy for, into this place because I don't really need you guys right now. My <sighs> sorry, guys. My foot's falling asleep. I need to adjust more on how I'm sitting. I kind of sit on my feet now and then. It's really weird. Don't ask me why. Mush bar. Fabricate six mush bars, please. Which, basically, the mush bars are dirt and water. They do may have a chance of causing diarrhea. You know, it's an iffy thing. May or may not. Hopefully, it's a may not in this case. I really don't want my guys to be feeling that way, but... Well, we need food. Let's just say that. We need the food. And our cycle is getting close to an end. So what we are going to do is pop up a couple ladders. Uh, one there and one there. It's just a little trick there. If you guys just pop one ladder like that, you can always refund them get the materials back. But you can also jump up on them and get every item, like all the items up here that you need. So like what we want to harvest our algae. Speaking of algae, we need to increase our oxygen output. So with the oxygen, we got an algae deoxidizer. And we're going to put that right there. With that being said, oh darn, we need more. We need raw metal. Shoot. We need the metal. Well, thankfully we're slowly heading towards it, but... That is slowly. Rats. Oh boy. 
tip fetching water. Yeah, they can only be up to two tiles away. I under I do understand that. So that's why we have it like right here. This guy right here, it was one, two, three away. We can't really actually harvest water there. If I were to build the tile there and get rid of this one, then they could. But I have a big pool here as well. I don't really need to at this current moment. All right, we got him generating some power. Got the algae oxidizer working on it. Oh, I just need, would love to build myself a little wire so I can put it there and then pump out some oxygen. But unfortunately, I cannot. So we are going to prioritize level 9. All of the stuff down here. So hopefully they understand that that's what we need to get done right away. But yeah, we have over like... 200,000, 2,000 minute seconds. So, with that being said, we are ending our third cycle. We need more oxygen. We have a nice little base established so far. I think I'm going to call it here for the night, and I'm going to save it here once we actually get into the morning aspect. I can just actually save it right now if I really wanted to. But I'm going to wait till we get to the morning aspect of it, and I'll, I'll give it a save. Okay, there we go. We're all ready to go. Our guys are moving. So they're going to hopefully go down here, start digging that out, and be getting ready so we can actually work on the rest of our base again as well. We do have our mush bars grow, uh, being built or cooked. I guess you'd call that cooked. But everything's, everything's going slowly and accordingly to plan. We have no stress. Our guys are doing great. We have a bathroom. We have beds. We're ready for our fourth person whenever we find that good candidate. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up down below. Show me the love. Show me the support that I do appreciate so much. If you guys want to let me know something, maybe I missed something. Maybe you guys have a cool idea of something that I can build. Let me know in the comments, in the comments section down below. I am always open to new ideas, especially if you guys have played this game before. And I maybe missed something. Maybe there's an easier way for me to do something that you guys know of and that would make my base a little better. Even right now, as it is small and tiny and beginning who knows let me know show the love show the support guys i don't mind i'm glad to take on your guys's opinions and advice so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here my name is one click and i hope you all stay awesome guys Bye bye you